Welcome back to Zip Tally Films, and I'm your host, Coach Evans. And again, we're back here today with another video. Today's video is about Mark Andrews. Uh, Mark Andrews had five quick catches for over 100 yards, and I didn't even, even realize it watching the game that he had over 100 yards. He did a great job of, um, you know, getting open, um, some good schemed scheme ways to get him open and he just completed the catch by you know catching it and getting some yak and whatnot uses football IQ on a couple of pass on a couple of passes but overall he had a, had a good day and uh, if he can keep having back-to-back -back days like this he can quietly move up into that upper echelon of tight ends which I think he's right on the, the precipice of doing that also um, intro please <laughs> All right, let's look at this first play. Um, Andrews is, let's see, let's figure out where he is. Put the spot shadow on him. Mark is right here. Let's watch it and see what happens. A motion guy. He's running the flood concept. Flood concept, they flood in this zone. Flat, intermediate, deep rock. Wide open. But let's see what coverage they're in. They're in a cover three look, so this flood is perfect versus cover three. And they got a little play action off of it too, but with the jet sweep. Perfect for cover versus cover three. Find an open spot. Get about 15 or 16 yards. Real simple. Line up, you know, split them up. Split them out. Not at the traditional, traditional tight end spot. Got a little gap between him and the tackle. So he kind of like in a, playing the slot. That motion, that motion does it all. He bites on it. He bites on it. He bites on it. Now he behind the coverage already. All he got to do is make sure he go outside so this corner can't see it happening. And with him going outside, the corner's back is to it. That's MOR, mandatory outside release. Easy money. All right, let's take a look at this play. Uh, Fine Andrews here. He is right there, kind of in the same the slot again, not in the traditional tight end spot. Like a deep over route. Runs to perfection. Runs the grass. Just runs the grass. It's going to get under Sam or under whatever we call this linebacker, over Mike. Use some route. And then run the grass. Under sound. Over Mike. Which the mic is gone to the flat. Run the grass. Simple. Simple concept. Let's see what everybody else does to get him open. All right. Let me, let me get to the beginning. So at the bottom, let's, let's work on Let's see what Duvernay has. What Duvernay doing to get him open, to help get him open. Kind of screening, setting the hitch so he got to stay there. I think that was Latavius Murray that's in the flat right, flats right here. So they run the little stick concept at the bottom. And he just gonna come over the top of the stick concept. That's the stick. That's the flat, and he just gonna come over. Oh, I ain't mean to put that, but he gonna come over the top of the stick concept to grass. Nothing nuanced about it. Just great. Just great. Um. Great play design. That's all it is on that. Great play design and, and Mark Andrews ran the grass. All right, let's go to the next play here. And uh, and this play is something that um my kids kind of run a little bit. The Ravens just run a little better. Andrews is right there and we call it we call it double post. What's gonna happen is you're gonna get a post by um what is that is that Duvernay? And we call that the bait. And the reason we call it the bait because we're trying to get this safety to bite down on it or this safety to bite down on it. Either one, we, we basically giving that route up. We really ain't trying to throw to that. This guy right here run the post also, but he's trying to stay skinny and stay high. So if this safety takes the bait, you got this skinny post coming over the top. So let's just say that he plays on that. The other safety plays on this. Now you got this deep over. Let me get this out of the way. That this deep over that Andrews is gonna run, come underneath all that. Cause if the two safeties and took the two posts, you should have you know this guy here. But you gotta have somebody to threaten the flats to make him stay shallow. Now I don't I don't remember what they did to make 
to threaten him to make him stay shallow, but let's see. And basically, you know, we call it double post on or what the Ravens call it. So you got your post starting to form now. You got uh, Duvernay finna push this way. Uh, I don't know if this is Marquise, but he finna push that way also. So both of your posts right here. The spacing ain't great. This is Sammy. The spacing ain't great right here. I'd really like for him to cross his face. And that way he either got to take him or play back. And either way, he should be screwed. All right, you got, where did this guy come from? Let's see, is that the running back? The running back is the guy that's going to hold the flats. Okay. The running back is the guy that's going to hold the flats, which is going to allow Andrews to get over, get behind these two guys. That That's who's holding the flats. I remember I was saying somebody got to hold the flats to make them stay up. This who's holding the flats to make them stay up so Andrews can get behind them, behind these posts. He does a good job of slapping the hand away on that dude, not letting him, like, throw him off his route. I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but right there. And now he's just running the grass. Because see, the safe, one safety took that post, the other safety on this post. These two guys looking at this flat route right here allow Andrews to seek behind him. But the good part about it is we got protection up here, so this can develop. I think it was like 40 some yards on this. Let's see. Let's locate money mark on this one. Mark again. Flexed out in the slot. Yeah, flexed. I think that no, that ain't Mark. It's Andrews right here. That's a fullback. I lit ten yard out. Got leverage on him. Close the gap. Leverage him toward the inside. Push off. Good job of coming back down the hill. Good job of coming back down hill to secure the catch. So really, you know, you know, most ten yard outs you kind of break out and you go flat. But this dude's coverage is so great, he comes back down hill to close the space so he, you know, can protect the throw. Good job, because otherwise that dude can undercut it and maybe pick it. So good job coming back down here to get that. Protect, that's how you that's how you help your passer out. That's how you help your passer out. Let's see what we can see from the back. If they can, if we can see the route from the back. So Andrews right here. Good arc release by 95. So, young tight end. That's a great arc release. Didn't allow the tight end to touch him. I mean, the defensive end to touch him. All right, now he's right on him. Come back down here. Protect it. Because otherwise, Analozzi, Analozzi, however you say his name, could, would have had a chance to uh, maybe pick that or get it, get it down. Alizone, or however you say his name. I just know when I see Alizone on Madden, he tough. I, he always give me fits on Madden. I think this is the last play I got from Tuck. I mean, after Tuck. <laughs> I just finished watching the um, Wired. That's why I had a Tuck on my brain. But this is the last play from, from Mark. I think it's his last catch of the game. And he is here again, flexed out. Excuse me. She's going to find open grass. They got a little play action power. Duvernay running the a fade. He makes sure he get wide. And he just... Mark just really just sits it. Excuse me. Mark really just sits it in his own. It's like he's pushing wide, but then he sees all this grass and he just settles up. Uh, I think it's that flood little concept again where he got the go the deep route. Mark has intermediate and um, Ricard's in the flats. So I think it's just the flood concept again. And he decides to settle it down instead of pushing to the flats because he got plenty of room. Like, he got plenty of room. And I, and I drew that like that, but his back is turned, so he really got more room than that. So it's a good job of just settling and, and having good football IQ and Lamar putting it on him. Nice little gain. I don't really know how many yards, yards it is, but he ended up with a big day. And this really concludes, you know, the Mark Andrews video. He had over 100 yards, which I didn't even realize until after I saw the um, – 
the uh, box scores that he had 100 yards, but he had some, you know, some well-designed plays that he ran to perfection. Uh, he didn't really have to do, put any nuance on anything but one route, and that's the route, that's the out route where he had to come back to the ball. But um, it was consistent. And if he can consistently put up games like this, we can push him into that that top tier. He, I think he's right below that top tier um, tight ends because of athleticism. But um, if he can continue to put games together like this and, you know, 100-yard games, five, six catch 100-yard games, he can help the offense out. He can help himself out to push himself up in that top tier um, tight ends. It could be four guys instead of three. But, um, hey, if it's your first time here, make sure you um, hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you like what you saw. Hit the bell for when you so you can be notified when these random videos drop. Uh, again, I appreciate everybody for coming through. I appreciate you if you're a Patreon member, if you're a regular sub. Anything you do to help the channel, I appreciate and love you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Again, I, I try to reply to almost every comment. Some, you know, uh, generic comments like great video and stuff like that. I, don't, I may not. I may just hit a harder like or something. But if it's talking ball, I try to reply to every comment that's talking ball. And um, I think I, got, I think I can squeeze out one more. I got one more on the brain. I'm see if I can squeeze it out between my regular job and and doing this. But I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. So I'll see you next time. Peace. With the, with the